What is up, friends of the interwebs? It is I, Jason Mazzocchio, the man who looks like a Taliban and a man with 17,342 names himself. Jose Juan Montalvo Galarza. You can call me Joe. And we're here with another unboxing video to go ahead and do something kind of crazy. It's an unboxing. <laughs> I know that's our thing. You haven't seen much. Uh, if anything else, because we are busy, busy folks. 12-hour shifts. I'm working a five right now. Today is my last day of five in a row. Then we start doing, I don't know, I get two days off. So uh, I think uh, our boy Jose is supposed to get another box in. Uh, hopefully tomorrow or Tuesday, I should have another box coming in. Uh, we got a couple of pre-orders, so we have no clue when those boxes will be coming in. And uh, that keeps things fresh. So we are doing the light video. We actually were just discussing what day we we're both going to have off. I think August 22nd is the INAC drawing. We were just talking about the golden tickets. So you might want to get in on those while you can. Grab as many as you can uh, of those chances. And uh, I think from the schedule, we're both off that day. Yep, we're going to be there. And if we're both off, then we're going to do something. Either we're going to watch it together. Or maybe we'll make a video and we can make fun of ourselves and John. So yeah. in your face, John. I got a mouse pad. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here it is. Here's the box. This one comes from Superior Cleaning Solutions, also known as INAC. We love them. Uh, you know them. And if you're not shopping there, I hope you have a good reason. All right, I got this mediator here. Boom. Looks nice. Got a little new edge on it. Somebody's been working with his uh, knife carving uh, polishing skills. Definitely has a little work to go. You suck. All right. Anyway, let's see if we can open a box. A mouse pad. pad. All right, all right. Got, oh! The Bug Out 535-3. I'm excited about that one. I actually wanted to see what it felt like in hand. I've only seen it. I've watched a couple of the little reviews or people in the Benchmade Knives for them, flashing them around, and uh, it looked amazing. So I'm happy. And I have, uh-oh, one two, three, four, five of these bad boys in here. Told you he was running that promo where if you ordered something, he was throwing in extra goodies. Uh, Pre-order with uh, the new 535-4 that's coming out. We'll be getting them September 1st, or INAC will be getting them September 1st, and I pre-ordered uh, a set, and it, that pre-ordering it came with three and then I got the one that comes with this and a bonus tin so I'm excited awesome. all right well let's get to the knife first and see what we think oh. about it borrow your beautiful mediator the socks according to you no the knife is great your sharpening skills there went ah, okay okay yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> all right Whoa. Let's see. Yeah, carbon, carbon yeah it's a carbon fiber. Uh, the 5354 is what? Like polished titanium or polished uh, space aluminum or something like that. All right, let's see. So, as you all know, we got this beautiful blue anodized backspacer. We got the beautiful blue uh, thumb studs there. Let's check it out. This one's uh, centered pretty well, slightly to my right. Let's see if it affects the action at all. Did not. Does it come with a drop action yet? No. It's got a little flip action there. So quick adjustment of the pivot screw. Let's look. So total overall length, we're looking at something like got the edge here. So we got about eight and a half inches overall. And a blade length. About three and a quarter inches according to this anyway. Uh, beautiful carbon fiber. I've seen a lot of carbon fiber from other people's scales and things like that, but I think that Benchmade really does one of the best carbon fibers. Um, comparative to other knives on the market, uh, other 
bug outs which come with that driver you know it, it definitely doesn't have any flex to it carbon fiber doesn't flex it's extremely rigid um, it will break before it really bends so that's cool um, along with that you know you've got this s90 blade so let's say you buy a regular bug out uh, you get a good deal on it you know um, and then you decide to go to Flytanium and you grab a backspacer and then you grab some carbon fiber and uh, some blue thumb studs you put it all together you will actually be generally at a higher price than actually buying this one from Benchmade uh, or your favorite retailer um, INAC uh, some of the other guys who are on the Benchmade forum than you would if you have just bought this directly and you still have an S30V blade now there's nothing wrong with S30V it's a great uh, blade steel. I have it on uh, most of my knives. But uh, a lot of people know that bug out is not generally considered a very heavy use knife. It's a, it's a cardboard cutter. It's something you carry around. You EDC with it. Anything that needs to be cut, anything that needs to be opened, you're using it a lot. And S90V is just known for holding that edge. It's a pain in the ass to sharpen. But it, once it's sharp, a little bit of stropping, it will stay sharp for nearly forever. So um, if you're looking at getting a bug out, if you're a bug out fan, I don't think you can go wrong with this knife at all. What do you think? Might want to get on camera a little bit. <laughs> well, as you know, I uh, swap my mini bug out skills with a uh, common fiber. Yeah. Which, no, nah, it's not here. Oh. <laughs> it's upstairs. But um, yeah, definitely you can see the better quality. I, I mean, I'm not saying the, the titanium or rust kill, but I don't remember which company I, I bought them are bad but there's a big difference with the quality with these scales um and you know if you're not like a super expert swapping scales there's always a risk of um messing your screws or your hardware or whatever so yeah if you're thinking about getting a bug out with the carbon fiber just go straight and get it from richmond 535-38 get the s9 to the carbon fiber now you got this is uh, his, his full size bug out with the S30V and the titanium scales. Mm -hmm. Super nice. The action is obviously incredible. Um, and so that's a little difference with something that you do like that. And then, you know, this one straight out of the box, a little stiff. You know, Benchmade seems to have that issue. Um, back off the pivot screw, probably going to be perfectly fine. Um, but let's compare them side by side if I can in any way. Uh, and now there's a huge, huge weight difference between this one with the Flytanium um, and this 535. This is probably one of the lightest knives I've ever had, but I have this also in that orange grivery, and they got away the same, or maybe a little, little, I don't know, really, really close, but this one just feels more substantial in my hand, and I don't know why. I, I'm gonna probably get because they just don't have that same flex yeah. and same issues. All right, well, that's the unboxing, but we got these coins. And this time, they're all mine. So Jose doesn't get nothing. Jose. We'll <laughs> yeah. I'll let you open these two for luck. Is there fun? Uh, yeah. I'll let, actually, you can open those three, and I'll open these two. Don't be trying to weigh them out. Let's just see what they are. Tell me what I tell me what I want, folks. Your favorite snack? Jelly My belly. jelly bellies. $5 off. Okay. Five, five, five bucks. Not mad about five yeah. bucks. Five bucks, five bucks. Next one. Amazing jelly belly. Nice. Five dollars off. I feel like I'm the king of five dollars. Yeah. You'd be always busting these out with ten bucks in them. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Always. Sometimes they have golden coins. So. Um. Alright. Next nice. one. Jelly bellies. This is why I'm cursed to look like five a five dollars off. Really? Is it yeah. five? <laughs> no luck for oh, me. Well, I went from the man with a trash mustache to the man that looks like a Taliban, as you can and see right there. Off. And the man of five dollars off. A little razor mishap. The edge went too high and I figured, well, it'll always grow back. So you're stuck looking like uh, somebody who's in the middle of taking over Kabul. Sorry guys. Alright, what do we got here? All right. Ooh, I've got a red ticket. Mouse pad. Mouse Gold bar. Gold bar. Gold bar. Gold bar. Mouse pad. Are 
Oh man. Hey, it's an Agnac mouse pad. That's one's better. All right. Last box. <laughs> How is it? You get like 10 things. You get like 10, nine golden tickets and $10 off. There's I only, get five stupid tins and I get friggin'. There's only good looking people and get stuff like that. Sorry. Yeah. You know what? I knew I shouldn't have shaved. Hey, we got some more Jelly Bellies and ma -ma -ma, golden ticket. Mm, mm, mm. Another one bites of dust. Uh, 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 uh. Another one bites of dust. I got a golden ticket and there's going to be a drawing sometime on the 22nd. Hey, going to get to you. I hope Stop I went something. to something. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of the unboxing video. Let me remind you, swing on over to INAC. Post your favorite retailer if you want me to try somebody else. But INAC's got a uh, drawing coming up. We got the golden ticket drawing. We got the pancreatic cancer fundraiser. Uh, I showed you the coins before. Those are super cool. Uh, so you just don't want to miss it. You know, uh, we got the kids drawing coming up. So if you've got a kid that's 12 or younger, please come over, there, put the names. Well, I can't, I just can't make these coins look cool on the interwebs. You, know, you got a couple kids reading and dog. You got the Cult of John right there. And that's not going to cost you nothing. You go in there, you put your name on it, and your kid could be uh, picked up for some sort of a prize. We're running some donations over there. Uh, leave a name, leave a comment, tell me where to go. I'll send you some free swag. I am swag rich from all these boxes we've gotten from Jose, from Jose, from John. And, well, and, and Jose, I got I steal his stuff often, uh, and I won that mega swag pack, which is great because it's got a bunch of stickers and smelly things and everything else. I just don't need that much, and I'm happy to pass it on to you. So you guys tell us what you're looking for. Uh, tell us what to do. What do you want to see reviewed? We still got the Olight video. Bust in the fundraiser. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Bump us up, and I will send you something cool out of the swag packs. All right, guys, that's all I've got. I am Jason, the man who looks like a Taliban, at least for the next six weeks till this grows out. Mazokio and my boy with 17,432 names. And remember, rule number nine, always, always carry, carry a knife. knife.